This section of track is called Hammonds Pond Railway. It just goes round in a circle. It's usually open for the summer. 50p a ride, which is around like two times, which is not too bad. It's even got little switch tracks for all the trains and little uh, garages for them. Hey you all, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a little different. Um, I was going to make a video on the wheel bearings and how to jack your car up properly and that yesterday. But I couldn't get it out because it wasn't long enough and it didn't really look as good. So I'm going to put that in right now. Hey you all, and today we're going to jack up the car using this scissor jack. And we're going to check the wheel bearings for any player. Before jacking up the car, you want to make sure that it's in gear. Second gear is preferred, and that the handbrake is all the way up, just so it doesn't move anywhere when you're jacking it up. Because the last thing you want is the car to move when you're trying to jack it up, and it drops on you suddenly. Hopefully it shouldn't be too much of a problem on fairly flat ground. You should always jack your car up on, a flat, on flat ground. Before jacking up the car, you want to make sure that this dimple bit here meets with the sill here. So then it can lift the car securely to jack right underneath that oval shaped hole. That's called a jacking point and that's the strongest part of the sill where you can lift the car up without bending the metal underneath. Now that the car is slightly off the ground and you've taken the handbrake off, you can turn the wheel now. When you're turning the wheel, you're listening for any humming noises or resonating noises coming from the bearing. I'll just spin it for a few seconds and let you hear. Don't know if you've heard anything, but I, I don't think I did. If anything, I think it might be just the, the brake drum catching slightly on the shoes, but I could be wrong. It, it might be, the, the bearing might be on its way out. But here's another way to check it. Well, this is how you check for play. The wheel at nine and three, and try and shake it side to side, see if you can feel any play. And if you can't, you wanna get it 10 and six, 12, 12 and six, and do the same. And if you can, if you can't feel anything, then it's still quite solid and it's working as it should do. I've just lifted the car up and I think I found where the noise was. It's that wheel there. You'll definitely be able to hear it when I spin it now. Passenger side rear, that's the culprit. May need to go to the scrapyard at some point to get a new wheel bearing. Well, brand new wheel bearing. Or I could maybe think about buying one. I don't know yet. I'll have a look. 
background. Yeah, so that was yesterday. It wasn't it wasn't too long, but it, it explained how to check your wheel bearings for shakiness and play and yeah, in general where my wheel bearing on the back passenger is but is on its way to failing because it's really loud. I'd have to put a clip in there somewhere. So yeah, today's video is going to be about just look, just I don't know, enjoying life and looking at a few cars. Not for me, this car, this Renault Clio is good enough for me. But yeah, just cars in general. So follow me. As you probably guess, we are in the seaside town of Silleth, about 20-25 miles off Carlisle. Just come for a wander and a bit of a look about. I think there might be like elf doors or something for fairies or something and elves maybe. This one's called the Hedgehog Hostel. It's kind of cute. 